Hello and welcome to the 24th episode of my Call of Duty Ghosts Weapon Guide. In this episode, the IA-2, designed by Imbel as a modular replacement for the various rifles used by the Brazilian Armed Forces. The IA-2's damage is good, as with all the marksman rifles on offer. And while not quite as powerful as the SVU, the IA will still kill with two shots at a close range, or with a single headshot. At a distance, you may need three shots to kill, or two where one is a headshot. The IA-2's effective range is superior to the MR-28, but slightly worse than the Mark 14 EBR. Rate of fire is limited to 545 rounds per minute, nearly as high as the MR-28, and rapid enough for most needs. Hipfire performance is poor, meaning unaimed fire should be saved for emergencies only. While damage might be high up close, the odds of landing your shots are slim. Recoil is moderate, with your shots tending upwards. With good fire control, it's possible to land successive shots, even on a distant target, relatively rapidly. Aim time is standard for the marksman rifle class, and identical to a typical assault rifle, at 300 milliseconds. Your movement speed is similarly average, at 90% of the maximum base speed. Magazine capacity is average for the marksman class, at 18 rounds, or 27 with extended mags. This is certainly enough to endure most engagements, and should prove sufficient to repel small groups of opponents without pause. Reloads are the slowest in class, but still manageable enough, at 3.1 seconds to complete. The IA is a versatile marksman rifle that can work well with either mid- or long-range configurations. Our build is a robust defensive one, capable of bearing the brunt of an enemy assault and repelling enemies with well-placed shots. If you'd like to replace the integrated scope, the holographic sight is a good choice for mid-range combat, with a slightly elevated zoom level when compared to the red dot or iron sights. Extended mags is another sensible option that will extend your available firepower, avoiding unnecessary reloads in the middle of combat. For your perks, focus should probably be your first port of call with the marksman rifles, as it will deliver greater overall accuracy. Reduced idle sway, paired with lower flinch from incoming fire. With such high damage and a slower semi-automatic rate of fire, it's very important to land every shot, so anything you can do to enhance your odds is worth the investment. A mid-range marksman build can prove quite strong in a defensive role, so loading up on resistive perks makes sense. Blast shield is a very good option for cases where your enemy is intent on using grenades, and can prove important when attempting to capture critical objectives. In similar circumstances, ICU can be a boon too. Faster health recovery can help under relentless assault, preventing accumulated damage from harming your odds in sequential gunfights. Beyond this, you can tailor the class to your preference. As long as you remember that the marksman rifles only excel from a middle range out, there's not much else that's essential in your build. It is worth packing a secondary weapon, of course. The IA's poor hipfire performance means a pistol can prove useful in fending off closer foes. The IA-2 is a balanced option within the marksman rifle class, with the potential to quickly dispatch enemies with its two-shot kill. While the weapon is a little more difficult to handle than its closest rival, the MR-28, you do gain the benefit of a longer two-hit kill range, and the higher minimum damage means that headshots will prove particularly effective at range 2. However, compared to most other options on offer, the IA-2 does have slower performance, so at a closer range it pays to be cautious in your approach. With the need to pull the trigger for every shot, placing two on a fast-moving attacker can be a dangerous gamble so it's best to ensure you take up position in a covered spot to retain the advantage. Still, the marksman rifles are a versatile choice for those with an able trigger finger, capable of repelling enemies in tighter spots and picking off those at a distance. Just like the Brazil nut, your defense with this weapon will be tough to crack. Thank you very much for watching, and join me next time when I'll be covering the links. Until then, farewell.